Hi there, this is um, Andrew VK3CV with a little bench demonstration of the current 122 gig revision 003 PCB in its development form. Um, here we're doing a software upgrade, um, update, just to add a few more frequencies and fix a bug which I've discovered. Um, that's the MP Lab development system where we write our code. Um, it's connected to the board using a ICD3 in circuit debugger, which um, connects to the interface on the board. Um, we are actually monitoring a signal uh, at the moment, which is coming up at a final frequency of 122.250.1 gigahertz, sorry, megahertz, that is. Our signal generator is on um, one tenth of that frequency, um, 12.22501 gigahertz which we multiply by 10 in a little diode multiplier which um, is on that SMA connector which is quite difficult to see because it's a very small diode. So when we put that in our test horn we can hear the IF signal on 2 metres coming out of there. Local oscillator frequency at the moment is um, 122.106 gigahertz. Um, if we turn on the keyer it'll actually be back the front but we can hear the keying taking place, which you can also see on the spectrum analyzer as a shift in the, um, the carrier frequency, which is how we generate the CW, as we can't turn the carrier on and off. Um, over here we can see our um, reference disciplining system. Um, up the top, up the top we have um, the 10 megahertz external reference. Down the bottom we have the internal 10 megahertz locked reference and that all comes from the one pulse per second signal which our um, 10 meg reference generates also. It's a bit of homebrew gear. Also up here we have a display of the diagnostics port. So um, that shows us what's actually going on within the uh, microprocessor on the board and you can see there it's updating with information about what's happening inside the processor. So that's it, thank you um, very much.